Hello and welcome back. So, uh, once again, we find ourselves in the same situation that uh, combined defensive pact minus the robots, at least for now, which are probably still recovering their losses. Declared war on fanatic purifiers, and I think once again we're gonna have to intervene to prevent their total annihilation. This time, however, the combined defensive pacts have some uh, pretty nasty fleets, powerful fleets. There's a 10k here, and that's just 10k from the Dwarven Empire. They have a combined fleet of plasma and missiles, it seems. A good amount of cruisers, seven cruisers actually, and this is a pretty large navy. And this is their entire navy in a doom stack. But this is a challenging situation. And then we have also the peacocks. So something must have to be done. Something has to be done with this uh, alliance, otherwise we're gonna get uh, into problems with them. So, uh, on the other hand, we don't want to capture too much territory because then we'll get in contact with some different empires that also don't like us, to say Julian Hollistat. So we need to pick our targets carefully. Um, I think the best course of action would be to expand on uh, on the robots, as, as there is just plenty of room to go here and we won't open any borders or fronts with, with any any other, any new empires like we will do if we start taking the, the dwarven territory. And yeah, so I think this is what we can do. So first we're gonna upgrade our fleets. We're gonna reinforce them with our new cruisers, some cruisers of our own. And probably go to war. Alright, so. Let's see, um, Alpha Fleet. Let's give them some cruisers. They are extremely expensive. Okay, reinforce all. There goes our 3k. <clears throat> Let's see, what else? Once again, we have reached maximum influence. So once the ships will get reinforced, once we reinforce our navy, we will probably open another front. And yeah, I think those those fanatical purifiers are already getting overwhelmed. I think they just lost their fleet. Where is their fleet? There is their fleet. It's it's right over here. Actually, that's what what's left of it. It's just a cruiser. All right, so Zealots will again engage the war against uh, Servitors. And... Really wondering what is the best course of action and who to declare on. Basically, zealots, robots, it's combined alliance, a random horse. Mm. Still didn't make up my mind, actually. <clears throat> right, the first thing we can do, actually, we have some soap, we can build more star bases, so we can use those star bases to construct some trading hubs. And let's build some trading hubs. Let's upgrade some systems that are far away from the border. And we can use them as trading hubs. Both of those are good candidates. Some more destroyers for better fleet would also be very nice. Yeah, they, they are overrunning them. 
But that's the fanatical purifier of it. Just as has no chance whatsoever against those uh, 10k fleets of the Dwarven Empire and those peacocks, birds. Mm. Hmm. Okay, just just waiting for the trading hubs and for the star bases to upgrade so we can get some stars uh, trading hubs on them. Should be done soon. Now we have a research. Still no energy plant upgrade. This thing. Well, resource booster is okay, so let's let's grab that. Let's upgrade the tracking on our ships, might as well. Okay, everything has been upgraded. And our naval capacity is kept, so we're gonna need to be more uncouraged as well. Let's see. War is going to be our staging ground. So let's reinforce it. Um, 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 what's this? So this is where they're coming from. This is where they're coming from, those bastards. They come from this, from this, uh, they have a uh, wormhole technology, they, they come from wormholes, however this time we won't let them just wreck half of our territory, this time we're going to retaliate against those pirates and we have the navy to do so, so let's give them a proper welcome, let's see if we can intercept them before they cause too much damage again. And it would be very good if we killed that fleet because this fleet has some pretty good tech, especially I mean, the most important thing are those Reaper Auto Cannons tier 2. This is going to be a big, a big boost to our uh, technology. So let, let, let's get this bastard before they, before they manage to wreak some havoc. Yeah, there we go. Here we go again. Cut this and rest. All right, fleets are almost in position. Uh, still, uh, Gamma and Alpha are far away. All right, reactors are done. Finally, we get access to power plants tier two. This is going to be a huge help with uh, battling this Malus. Right, so, where are they heading? They are heading towards this. Oh, don't go there yet. I'm just, I'm just gonna make a meeting point here. Let's see where they're heading. They're heading. They're heading to this system. We don't want to engage them just yet. Our fleets are, are still on the way. You have to be careful not to tag them. Oh, this is annoying. Just look at so much damage. Let's keep following them. I think we should be faster. Let's set those fleets to follow better fleet. There they are, there's one. Wow, they're fast. Oh, 
beginning to doubt if you will, will ever catch them. Okay, upgraded plasma is okay. Let's go for it. War declared. And the robots now uh, got into the war as well. So yeah, we should intervene. Just two small orders, man. Just the timing is just amazingly bad. Right, let's get those bastards. Just God damn it with them. All right, let's get those fleet upgrades. Come here. God damn it, this path of destruction is really annoying. Yeah, we've almost got them. Come on. Intercept them. Ah, should get them now, the black hole. Just look at this. Oh my god, this is so annoying. So much damage again. Oh, we have them now. Come on. Those bastards. God damn it, I hit them. Okay, so took some losses. No cruisers lost. I see just five. Some corvettes, but only three destroyers. That's that's no big deal. Losing cruisers would have been much more painful. And now we got access to their tech, which is going to help us quite a lot. So let's get those Reaper cannons. Reinforce our fleets. And let's relocate them. Okay. So. Two f we're going to do the same thing. We're going to station one fleet. Uh, next at Passavon. As, as our northern staging ground. I'm going to upgrade this to a star hold. Fleet beta is going to stay here. Actually. That would be Fleet Gamma. It's going to stay at the northern air flank. Let's get this capacity overload. And Alpha and Beta are going to move no south to zero. This is going to be the new homing station. Hopefully, I will arrive in time. They're just gonna reinforce them while they're uh, on route and route to the destination. I had those plans about the trading hubs, I completely forgot. Where were the where were the starports? Should be one over here. Oh, there we go. Get a trading hub. And there was another one. I think this is the one. Let's get to trading hubs going. Okay. This malus is uh, it's growing in size. And this is not good. Okay. Let's give this to the AI. This damage just... Oh my god. Just all over again. Ah, freaking more orders, man. Gonna, gonna take some time to move all those fleets around. Yeah, and, and fanatical purifiers are losing hard. They, they, they just... They lost so much territory. 
this is uh, pretty bad. We should intervene as quickly as possible. And this time just uh, really crush those robots. Really, the plan is just to really put them some heart into them, you know, to crush their, their economy. So they won't, they just won't be able to recover. All right, so ship upgrade cost and ship upkeep. This is so important. That 5% is going to make a big difference. So we're going to take that. Get the stations back again. There we go, that's the Reaper cannons. Perfect. So let's see how the sector is building here. Well, that's, that's a good start. That's, that's a good start. Okay. Right, so Gamma Fleet is... No, Gamma Fleet should go north. Why is it here? Gamma Fleet is going... Alright. Okay, fleet's being repaired. All right, so I think all of both fleets are in position. Transports are here. Just gonna let better fleet repair. Okay, we drain the sector. Oh, well, it has 6k minerals. We can make a nice use of that. Let's make sure let's make sure we reinforce everybody. And I'm gonna use those minerals to get some cruisers for Gamma Fleet. Okay. That's that. Naval capacity suddenly grew in size like immensely. This is good. This is going to be very helpful if it pops during the war. All right, let's just check where the enemy uh, fleets location. So the dwarves have no serious, the, the main fleets aren't here, still waging war against uh, fanatical purifiers, which seems to be still holding the core wards intact. They, they have their four wards. Pathetic fleet. Um, there's a 5.6K fleet of the dwarves. I think that's pretty much it. So we go once the reinforcements uh, has been completed. We're gonna declare war. Let's get a sentry array here. Actually, let's get a let's get a battlefield simulator. All right. So plasma is done. Uh, let's get, now we can research uh, some better shields. Let's get us better shields. All right, so beta has been reinforced. Alpha is almost. There's the last ship coming to reinforce it. Gamma fleet is is being reinforced with cruisers. We can add some destroys into the mix as Gamma Fleet is going to be all by itself for the time being in the northern, northern flank and we don't want it to be overpowered. However, we are now prepared for war and we are going to declare on the robots this time with the purpose of completely wiping this, this uh, one, two, three star systems away from this border. They have one here, but that doesn't matter. 
so we need just going to hopefully devastate them pretty hard so let's set some claims luckily we have tons of influence for that so no problem let's take some territory away from them and this is perfect make claims what is this 10 thing what's this what the heck what, what was that hmm what is this system well i don't know but let's go call cause some mayhem All right, so the first station to, to fall should be this one. There's lots of fleets parking here. There's a strong fort guarding this area. This is going to be an interesting battle. And this is going to be our first target. What the hell? All right, so both fleets are on the way. This is going to be a tough fight. That fort is heavily fortified. Lots of platforms as well. Okay, I think all the platforms are down, just the fort now. Armor is gone. Baseport under attack. Uh, that, that's a pathetic fleet. Probably gonna take this, but nothing much I can do right now. Our focus should be here, taking the spaceport, and it's gone. We've lost only one destroyer and one corvette. This is very, very good. So let's see if we can capture this planet. Armies are landing. All right. All right. Let's see where's the fleet so if there is anything it's like serious closing on our border, so this is attacking some star base. Let's send Gamma Fleet to harass this port since we're already here. Give them some stuff to do. All right, this should be ours. We're losing some armies, I see. Taking some losses. Oh well, just lost my general. I think we need to reinforce our armies. So let's build some. Let's build a, let's build a, what's it called? War factory over here. So we can pump armies at zero. Zero is our staging ground. Just uh, use this. Use this opportunity to repair both of those fleets. Okay, we're winning. Took some losses, but we should be able to get this planet. Those uh, um, ground com ground wars are starting to get pretty pretty tough. Right. This planet is ours. Let's get uh, by a new admiral. We've lost five ground armies. Okay. All right, next destination is Zymon. So let's take the Lone Goose. Pretty much clear all the star forts, star bases. And yeah. Uh, my objective is to cut this territory away from them first. We saw first going on. So this this immediately, since we just capture this, it, it will immediately produce us some resources. So this is good. Once we repair those buildings, however, since they are currently completely destroyed, I'm gonna lose this. 
Yeah. Okay, that is not, not a problem. Right, so Camouflet just took that target. Let's repair this. Let's send them to, for some repairs. It's important to keep track of all enemy movement. Right, this is ours. Let's keep progressing northward. Right, alpha, uh, gamma is still being repaired. Almost done though. Nice, that's a perfect time. Destroyer just get gets a nice boost. Let's get those Reaper cannons. Okay. All right, so I would like to start producing uh, ground armies. The factory is still uh, constructing. The Gamma Fleet is uh, finished repairs. Let's keep capturing some Dwarven territory. So the main fleet is going for Gamma Fleet. Okay. And Gamma Fleet should be able to deal with this. It's uh, vastly superior. Just in numbers even. Okay, this is ours, and now we go for the for the system. Okay, perfect. All right, so where's the fleet? There it is. It's going for Gamma Fleet, and we're going to create them at close quarters, at close range, so we can utilize our um, auto cannons to max efficiency and immediately. This system is getting overrun. Let's uh, give it a nice bombing this time. Wow, just uh, some proper garrison defending it. Ah, there's two systems in this, uh, there's two systems here. But so this is a crucial uh, system to take, that. just two planets to take. Okay. All right, I assume the war factory is finally been completed. So let's uh, pump two armies. There's two types of armies. Okay. All right, and that's the fight. Our auto cannons are really outdated now, so. Looks like we're winning though. Perfect. All right, seems we've won. And we didn't lose anything. We didn't lose anything. Actually, this is not, this is the wrong combat. No, this is this is uh, not the right combat. This was over this uh, Zymon system. Okay, so I think we took some losses here. The Gamma Fleet took some losses. Uh, of course, are all intact. Let's uh, send them for repairs and then continue our conquest. Whoa, there's a huge fleet coming in for Gamma. Okay, this is a bigger fleet. And this is it for this uh, episode, so tune up next and see how this will play out.